I should get to editing this video. I do want it out by tomorrow. Oh my gosh, I should have started editing an hour ago. <sighs> well, it really fell off that, huh? I just might have an idea. It's Sunday, so you guys know what that means. We are getting our screen time report. Let's go check what the screen time is. Let's go day by day. Monday, April 8th, we have three hours and one minute. Tuesday is three hours and 45 minutes. Wednesday is three hours and 55 minutes. Thursday was four hours and 26 minutes. And Friday was four hours and 54 minutes. Okay, honestly, not too bad. I think the average out for the week was like around five hours or so a day. Green time wasn't bad. I'll see you guys tomorrow. It seems like we have three hours and one full minute of reading. Hey, it's time to talk about Squarespace, which is the kind taunter of today's video. You guys know all about Squarespace, but I'm gonna tell you again, just in case you don't. If you or anybody that you know are looking for a website to use, Squarespace is the way to go. Listen, as soon as you go onto Squarespace, start your free trial, there are going to be so many templates for you to choose from. You can endlessly scroll. And then once you scroll, you can click on it and you get to customize it any way you want. It's just hard sometimes to build a website from scratch. And if you're like me and you need to have a little bit of help, Squarespace templates are there for you. You can customize them any way you want. Then after that, we're going to start getting going on launching your website. And one of the most important things I feel like with anything, whether that's like your own channel, your own business, and especially running a website is data and analytics. And Squarespace is here to help you with that. They literally have so many different forms of data and analytics. That way you can judge your website traffic, where people are coming from, how many are coming back. You can see what's bringing them back in. There are, you can see where they're at in the world. So many different things, as well as if you're running a business that needs scheduling, you can do that on Squarespace as well. For me, the thing that helps me out the most is I have made like a little blog on there. On there, it is so easy to just link all of your different socials and that way it makes a form of a community within your Squarespace website and people can just visit all of your different streams and platforms all in one place. Place. If this is something that interests you guys, you guys can head over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you guys are ready to launch, head over to squarespace.com slash destiny said well to get 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you so much again to Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. At the gym this morning, I went ahead and started our timer. So today's timer was for three hours and one minute, and I now have two hours and 33 minutes left. But the book that I decided to pick up and read is Jackpot Summer. This is actually an arc, 75 pages in. Also look at the bookmarks that they sent me. It's like a lottery ticket bookmark in this little check that they signed my name on. So cute. Anyway, the premise of this just really got me and I hadn't even heard about this book. And then I got sent the arc and I was like, wow, wait, I really want to read it because I've been really into reading um, summary reads right now because I have come to this realization and I've said it a few different places. So I'm sorry if you are hearing me claim this again but i feel like i enjoy reading summary books like this in like march april and may because i like to read these as an escapism and looking forward to summer coming up and i don't feel like i reach for these as much when it is summer i found out that i don't really like want to read books set at the beach because i'm there i don't know i wanted to pick this one up because i wanted a nice like kind of giving a summer vibe but not too much of a summer vibe i am still in the build-up of the story so far i'm not in love with the characters but this is a literary fiction so sometimes I'm like I don't know if the goal is for me to necessarily really like all of them I don't know it's it's fine it's a form of escapism I don't have really much to say about it I have two hours and 33 minutes left to make a opinion on it so I'm gonna start this timer I think I'm gonna go sit outside it's literally like 80 degrees outside so then I'm gonna go sit out on the front porch and read this while I charge all of my electronics so I can edit later
have four siblings and three of you are like, oh yeah, we'll put in lottery tickets. And then one of them says like, no, we don't want to do it, like whatever. But then you guys end up winning the lottery and the person who didn't want to buy the lottery ticket, what do you do? If we we're close, I would still give them a little stuff. I have 48 minutes and 40 seconds left of reading and I am pretty much, I don't even know what percentage of the way through this I am. And I keep on forgetting that I can't tell you guys some of the circumstances that are in this book that affect my writing and this book doesn't even come out until June. But this much through the book, I'm going to read for the full 48 minutes and also just try to go ahead and finish this. I have 12 minutes. 46 seconds left. I actually just finished Jackpot Summer. I honestly, oh, what's up with this angle? So I finished this, we have a book finished. I did start this yesterday, so it was good. It was fun. I really liked the storyline and how it took, how I feel like everything went full circle. I felt very, not accomplished, but I feel like everything wrapped up very nicely. So I guess for the last 11 minutes and 44 seconds, I'll find something on my Kindle to read. We are stopping the timer. So for today, I finished Jackpot Summer. Day one, trying to spend less time on the phone, read for the three hours and one minute, and we ended up finishing a book. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tuesday. It's time to start today's reading. Today we have three hours and 45 minutes of reading. So here are a bunch of books that I have on my TBR. And I know that this isn't a can I finish my TBR video, but you know what? It would be nice to tackle both of those subjects in one video. These are majority of the books that I haven't read yet on the TBR this month and I kind of want to get through them. So I don't think I'm going to read Renegades because I want to save this for a day that are reading for a longer amount of time. So what I'm really in between are these two books, which is Pineapple Street and What You Wish For. I think that I am leaning more towards What You Wish For by Catherine Center. I just am really feeling this one. So with that all being said, let's pull up the clock and let's start the timer. So we have three hours. Are we there yet? And 45 minutes. We're gonna start that, and there we go. We have our book for the day. We're focusing on What You Wish For by Catherine Center. So let's go read for three hours and 44 more minutes. I am reading this book pretty slowly, but I have two hours, 38 minutes left. I have gotten through the book so far and I went into this thinking that it was going to be like an emotional second chance romance. He pops up at the school and he's the new principal and they share this huge history together that's really affected the both of them. It's just not the case. It honestly is just kind of silly and I always forget when I open back up a Catherine Center book, which I don't feel like the bodyguard did this as much, but when I read Hello Stranger by Catherine Center, it just feels very like quirky and silly, like the whole entire thing. Like there are emotional parts to it, but like the character and the, some of the things that the character does and says and stuff about them is just kind of like a little outlandish, a little silly. I forgot that that kind of seems like a common theme within these books. And that's what our main character definitely is is because the like past presentness of the two people it's definitely more of like a silly thing like it's not very deep and emotional but there are different emotional elements within the story which is usually how it is her books read more literary fiction than romance except i think her new ones like hello stranger and the bodyguard are categorized as romances this one and i feel like i have another one by her as well as a red cover how to walk away yeah how to walk away and this one's what you wish for but you can find these in the literary section of your bookstore, but I have over two hours left and I'm gonna sit here and try to get as far into this book as I can. Ugh. You guys can't even see me. Okay. I don't wanna turn my brightness up, but I will for you. Okay, here's the dilemma. I literally fell asleep at seven o'clock. I don't know. I don't know. So I fell asleep Luckily, I stopped the timer. Two hours and seven minutes left. <sighs> Do not feel like having the lights on. It's 10.30 
at night right now. So I'm gonna try to read on my Kindle. I have the catch on my Kindle. I turned my brightness down because I was reading this at the gym. So now I'm trying to find the brightness on this and just make it a little bit brighter. Stephen King's The Dark Tower Beginning. Is this like, okay, what am I looking at? The Graham Effect is on here and I just got sent that. Let's see if what you wish for is on here. No. Okay. Oh, why are none of my TBR books on Kindle Unlimited? Okay, none of my TBR books are on Kindle Unlimited. You know what? I'm just going to continue reading the catch. I'm already 20% into it, so just going to spend the next two hours, seven minutes reading this. Glad that we've came to this half asleep decision together. Hi everybody yes i failed yesterday and had like 45 minutes left of reading and then i quite literally fell asleep on my kindle we're going to push through today we had three hours 55 minutes of reading to do and i actually started reading on the treadmill this morning i brought this with me to the gym it's trying to be my life hack for this video i still have three hours and 14 minutes left but that's what we're going to do and if we start right now and continue we'll be done at around 10. Okay, but we should start now. Last night, I don't even remember, I think I recorded like a weird clip last night. Last night, I didn't feel like reading in the dark and I had fallen asleep at seven something. Like in a few minutes, I would have fallen asleep yesterday. And then I woke back up at like 10.30 and I was like, wait, what am I doing? And then I like stayed up for like another, I don't even know how long and then fell asleep with 45 minutes left. I kept on reading the catch and I think I got to like 50-ish, 60-ish percent through that book. Don't really remember a lot about it. Not a lot to write home about, but I did get pretty much a lot through this one. I am actually on page 140 of this right now. And once I actually got into it, it started going by really fast and I'm just enjoying my time. So I'm gonna go sit outside for a little bit and continue reading. So let's go ahead and resume the timer. Three hours and 14 minutes left. Oh, 18 minutes left. I just finished the second book for today's video, which is What You Wish For. Oh my god, why did I just tell you guys the title of the book? We're going to directly move on because timer still running. I think I am just deciding to pick back up the catch because I did download it on my Kindle and I am like, oh, I'm only 40%. Ugh. Well, I'm 40% through it right now. So might as well try to get as much into this as I can. I now have one hour and 17 minutes left, but favorite part about getting to read on my Kindle, I'll show you guys. I have eight minutes and 30 seconds left i have been trying to read the catch and obviously like there's not enough time to start another book but i do think that i'm gonna dnf the catch yeah i just don't think that it's going to happen for me i have literally tried i tried in february to read it no not february march to read it and i just can't so let me try to find another book very quickly you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try to read bridesmaid for hire boom and we're done with the reading for today pretty hooked on this not gonna lie to you guys <sighs> let's do a little bit of a wrap up for the day so today i finished a book which was what you wish for i dnf'd the catch three seems too low so i'm gonna give it a three and a half because i really did enjoy it once we got going and once we started getting into the story i do feel that katherine center's books are just quirky a little bit outlandish like in some ways i still have a good time reading them and i really liked all of the band of characters very i was literally about to describe it as very imagery 
very imagery, okay? No, but I could imagine it very well. I'm, I'm an expert at explaining things, aren't I? No, but I could just really see in my head. <laughs> I keep going to explain to you guys how she is able to explain things well and draw an image in my mind, which I really liked. And it was just very entertaining and I was wrapped up in the romance. Anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, hello there. Welcome. What is today? Thursday. Today is Thursday. Welcome. We have a longer period of time. Every day it gets a little bit more time. Like it's kind of like if we were to look at it as a graph, it's just slowly like sloping. Nope. Slope is down. Rising. Let's check in for what the grand total of time today that we have to read is. Four hours and 26 minutes. We can do this. If I'm starting early, it's literally 9.25. We're starting early. If we can just read for four straight hours and 26 minutes, then we can be done early in the day. And that sounds pretty good to me. Today's book that we're focusing on is going to be Renegades. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I've been trying to choose from my TBR that I set this month. So we're gonna try this one out. It's a pretty thick one. It's like sci-fi fantasy. I've read a Marissa Meyer book before. She is like infamous in the young adults literature world. Time for me to get into it. So let's go ahead and press start. We're gonna start reading. What was the last fantasy book that I read? I'm trying to think. I think it might have been Bridge Kingdom. I just don't feel like right now I am in a fantasy mood. Like I'm trying to read this book. I'm about 42 pages in. I have been trying to read this. I don't know if it's because I'm looking at how thick it is and I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm in a fantasy mood, y'all. I think I'm going to try to get at least 100 pages in and see how I feel then. I did what I always do. I went to TikTok and looked up TikToks about it and people seem to love this series like so much. I paused the timer. So I have three hours and 47 minutes left. I have to go downstairs and wash my dishes from breakfast and I'm probably gonna go sit outside and read. Hello, I gave up on Renegades because I am just not in the mood for a fantasy world right now. I am in my literary fiction, cute little romance, one of the two. Maybe even add a thriller in there. That's literally a maybe. It's just when the warmer months come along, I feel like in the summertime, if we were to literally look at how many fantasy books that I read from the month of like April, to August, September, it would probably be very little. Most of my fantasy reading gets done in the fall time and then in the winter time. I did just film my book shopping haul. So now we have all these books. I feel like I now unlocked these books. I feel like I couldn't read these books until I hauled them. What's on my radar? Okay, first of all, this is on the TBR. I've already read this. Here's what I'm thinking. I'll show you guys what I'm thinking, which I know is scary because you guys are like, oh my God, does he thinking? Ah. I'm thinking of either ready or not. I kind of want to read this. I feel like this is cute. I feel like this is springy and cute. I do have three hours and 15 minutes left of reading today. So if I start right now, I'll be done by 10. But that's fine because I have to stay up tonight because it's tea. It's tortured poets department day. So it releases at midnight. So I plan on staying up anyway. So this will help me stay up. Granted, there is going to be a two hour increment of a break in between, but I assume that I'm going to have to pause a few times in between reading this. So let's start reading ready or not. Are we ready or not? Are we ready or not? Did I resume it? Nope. Okay. Let's start reading. <laughs> I can't get to the first page. Wait, I really like this writing. Why am I still standing? I don't know.
finished my time for today. Read for a full four hours and how, how long was it? I forget, but I literally have like this much of the book left, so I'm just gonna finish it. guys it is friday it's the last day of this challenge today we have our longest reading day which i feel is ill-timed my personal life i feel it's a little ill-timed but anyway four hours and 54 minutes so let's just up up this real quick have this ready to go so here's the thing this has happened to me multiple times where the tbr that i made i don't feel like reading at the end of it and this month i was feeling like mood reading and isn't it so funny how drastically a mood can change from like the beginning of the month to the end of the month and do you want to know what has changed my mood the warm weather outside it has been consistently warm where i live it has made me want to pick up light fluffy romance books with a summer backdrop so i have by the way i was moving you but i have tortured post top apartment part two part two queued up let's think about what book i should read today it's mediocre at best i also can't tell if it's like low-key spilling anyway the two books that i'm thinking of we have the reappearance of rachel price or we have the rule book i do think that this book would take me longer because it seems like it is longer so i kind of want to go with the book that's longer because i actually don't know why i think we're just going to go ahead and go with this one this came out this month and i don't know what it's about but who's our main character? Belle. Oh, she was the only witness to the Rachel Price disappearance. We've got the timer all set up and ready to go. No, we don't. We're gonna start reading. I may be stupid, but I don't get this family tree. I don't know why I'm standing. Why do I keep standing? I don't know setting change up not to jump scare you guys i have three hours and 10 minutes left and i'm this much through reappearance of rachel price and i don't know i feel like we're not even i don't think we're even at the like setup of the story yet i'm about 60 pages in what was i gonna say do you guys know do you guys know do you guys know what i'm gonna say because i don't know I don't know how to feel about it. I don't know. I'm getting weird. I'm getting weird vibes. I'm getting weird vibes. I don't know how to feel. I will say that Holly Jackson's writing, so unique. When you're in their mind, like you don't know what to think of them. I didn't feel that way with Pip though, but when I read Five Survive, I felt that way. Now I feel this way with Belle. So I really don't know what to think here. get the book out of this bag so hey guys it's literally two days later i ended up never sharing my closing thoughts with you guys because friday i did complete my reading time and i read for the full was it four hours 55 minutes and i went back and forth between a bunch of books but i ended up picking back up rachel price the reappearance of rachel price as you guys saw but i got about 200 pages in so that's not even is that like halfway through this book this book is really long i will say that i am going to continue reading it this week so i'm going to finish it before the month is over i might try to pick it up in audiobook format i feel like maybe that'll work better for me the thing about this book is i was having such a hard time just like sitting down and reading it and usually i do not have that issue with holly jackson's book but this one it feels like it is so slow on like the up part of it if that makes any sense um oh, i hate saying that word i hate that i always am constantly saying if that makes any sense i'm not speaking Urgh. okay anyway <laughs> but it just feels so slow like everything's dragging out like you're kind of building this suspension 
suspense not suspension what is going on tension like you can tell what is kind of being built up but we're literally 200 pages in and i feel like we are just kind of like saying the same things over and over again like i'm suspicious of this it's like yeah we get that can we get into it can we stop being like ooh, maybe this maybe that start doing it we're getting nowhere it's not bad it's just that this book is a lot longer and a lot slower than any of the other books from this author that i've read so i was just kind of having a hard time like getting into it i do suspect though that it'll get better on the second half but i'm just not there yet i do plan on reading this for or another video that will be out this month so you guys will probably see me finish this in that video other than that let's let's wrap up what we did this week by me trying to spend time off of my phone i don't know if i did that successfully i kind of abandoned that part of the video i'm too lazy to go find the books that i read all in all not a bad reading week i just feel like i'm kind of all over the place i feel like i was doing a little bit reading however many pages of this book reading however many pages of that book and just trying to find a book that was really satisfying what i was feeling at the moment i feel like i'm so focused on new releases that i don't necessarily know what reading mood that i'm in right now i feel like i'm kind of all over the place so maybe a little bit of mood reading will do me some good. That is the conclusion of today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did, you guys need to do like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. And I will see you guys when I see ya. Peace.